Okay, we want to use the remainder theorem to find the remainder when f of x, which is this, is divided by x minus 2, then use the factor theorem to determine if x minus 2 is a factor. Okay, so first of all, we have to know what the remainder theorem is. And so the remainder theorem says that if I use synthetic division with these two, whatever the remainder is, that's going to be the same thing as f of 2. So let me show you, illustrate how the remainder theorem works. So suppose we want to first find just f of 2 the normal way we've done before in the past. Okay, well, how this works is you put a 2 in there for x, and we can work this out to see what we actually get for f of 2. So again, this is doing it the traditional way that you might be used to doing, putting a 2 in here and working it out. Okay, so this is going to give us 16, and then this is also going to give us 16, and then I have 10, and then minus 3. This result's going to end up giving us 7 as a result. So that means I just, all I did was I put 2 into the original one, and I got 7 as a result. So now, let's actually use synthetic division. So I, I have videos that are up for the synthetic division review as well, so take a look at those if you want to get a more detailed explanation about synthetic division. But what we'll do is we'll take the opposite sign of that. Negative 2 means it's positive 2. I put my coefficients. These coefficients are already written highest to lowest power. No terms are missing, so I'll put those in as is. 2, negative 4, 5, and negative 3. I'm going to go through this synthetic division and let's see what we get for the answer. 2 drops down and I get 2 there. Multiply that together, you get 4. Add this together, you get 0. Multiply, you get 0. And we, you're always going to do addition when you have synthetic division. 5 is there. Multiply. And we get 7. Oh, look at that. 7, that's the same as what we got before. Okay? It's not a coincidence that this ended up giving us exactly the answer as before. That's actually what the remainder theorem says. The remainder theorem says if you take this and you do synthetic division, then whatever number you're putting into the box, whatever you get for the remainder is going to be the same as if you actually were to put that number itself into the original equation and doing it the original way that we've done before. So that's what the remainder theorem says. So we want to find the re remainder when it's divided. Okay, that would be it. The answer is going to be 7. That answers the first question. Then it says use the factor theorem to determine if x minus 2 is a factor. Okay, the definition says here that if it's a factor, that means you need to get a remainder of 0. If something divides in evenly, that means you should not have anything left over. That means the remainder should be 0. So in this case, uh, x minus 2 is not a factor. And that's because, again, when we did the, the uh, synthetic division, we did not get a zero for our answer. So because we didn't get a zero, that means it's not a factor.